Hi guys, today I thought I would do a Friday Reads video, since it's Friday, share with you what I'm currently reading, what I plan to read this weekend, as well as I got some fun new bookmarks in the mail, so I thought at the end I would open those on camera and show you what I have. We are currently in my room. You guys don't really see these shelves anymore, um, because anymore I always film in the living room in front of my really huge shelf that Jake built me, and it's like, no secret, it's my favorite, and I have like all my favorite books out there that I've read. Um, but so these shelves are just kind of neglected. I feel bad because I've got basically like two TBR shelves now out there and then my one big shelf and then these books are kind of like books I just don't know where to put them. Like I've read all of these books but they didn't quite make the cut to make my favorite shelf or like this shelf I already have all these out there. So I feel kind of bad because these are like the shunned books. You guys should let me know if you also have shunned books but I used to have books when I lived at my parents' house that were in the closet because I had no room for them in my room. So those were the shun books then. Someday I'll have like a whole separate room where I just kind of make it into like a library and these books can rejoin the other books. You won't be shunned anymore, I'm sorry. So I have not been reading that much lately. If you guys follow me on Goodreads, you'll know that because I update Goodreads all the time. It's Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Um, it's been killing me that this has been sitting on my shelf. This is one of my favorite authors and I was so excited. I've just been anticipating like, this is one of my most like highly anticipated books of the year. I believe it comes out like first week of November, like maybe November 8th. But if you've never heard of this, um, this is the author, by the way, of the Lunar Chronicles. So Cinder, Scarlet, Crest, Winter, all those. That's like my favorite series. I love it. So this is about the Queen of Hearts. So Marissa Meyer is really good at writing villains. And as soon as I found out she was doing this, I was so excited. Alice in Wonderland. I really haven't read that many, really, I don't know if any like really adaptations or anything that I've read like really related to that so I was just so excited to get my hands on this um so this is an arc of it and it's so good so far I am actually about 60% of the way through right now and it is just so good so the main character's name is Catherine um or Kath and she it says like on the back, long before she was the terror of Wonderland, the infamous queen of hearts, she was just a girl who wanted to fall in love. And guys, she's great. Like she's a great character. She's really sweet. She's so ambitious. And I love, love, love that she loves to bake. And she wants to open her own bakery with her maid. And she's not really all that interested in she really doesn't care that much about like seeking out a husband like she wants to be. Um, she just really cares about her bakery, which I think is awesome. Um, and unfortunately, sort of for her, unfortunately, the king um, really has his eye on her. And so he's a really nice guy, but he's just, he's not for her. And every time he keeps seeking her out, it's no secret that he wants to marry her. And she is just not really interested. She finally does meet someone that she is interested in. She meets the court's like joker, um, Jest, and so she starts kind of falling for him and I really like his character a lot. Because I've not read that many adaptations, I pretty much just have like the movie, like the Disney movie Alice in Wonderland to go by. And I did read the book like forever ago. I just love like they talk about the white rabbit and they talk about the Mad Hatter and they talk about the caterpillar that like smokes and just a whole bunch of other things like here and there. Um, they played that game with like the birds and the hedgehogs, the flamingos or whatever they were. I don't know, I just love it. It's It makes me so happy. I But the whole time you're reading, you're like, so when is she gonna turn evil? When is she gonna like, because you know she becomes the queen of hearts. So, I mean, right, I think? So it, it's just one of those stories. So you're like reading it and you're loving it, but you're like, what is gonna happen to her to completely change her? So. I definitely recommend this. I do plan on having like, I do plan on doing like a review or discussion or something if you guys are interested in that. Um, just let me know and I'm sure I will, I plan on finishing it this weekend. So um, I'm hoping that maybe like Monday I can like film my discussion. So that is what I am reading. You guys should let me know in the comments what you are currently reading. And this um, is actually from my friend Jamie. Um, you guys know Jamie, she, her you, her booktube channel is uh, Ermergerd Burks. I talk about her a lot. She's my friend 
and um, she has opened an Etsy shop for bookmarks and so I was so excited for her when she told me about it but basically she just sent me a few bookmarks to check out so it's called Otter Nonsense Designs and I will have a link in the description as well as like her Instagram account which I follow and she always posts the cutest things because she has all those cute little like Funko characters <gasps> oh <laughs> I just saw Harry Potter and just got real excited oh my gosh oh it says you're a you're a wizard Harry look how cute it is oh my gosh it's so cute I can't take it I love it so much oh and then she did a personalized one for me heck yeah so cool Jamie thank you so much for these they seem really like thick and just like good quality good bookmarks I am always losing my bookmarks and actually for someone that reads as much as I do and stuff you would always think I had bookmarks around but for the first like probably 100 pages of Heartless I was actually just dog earing my pages one because I was probably too lazy just to find one um but also because I like lose mine sometimes and so I won't lose these though these are adorable Hagrid and Harry are too cute Okay, so as I said, um, check out her Etsy page um, in the description and then check out like her Instagram and stuff. Um, also, I wanted to let you know that there's a special going on in October. Go to the link in the description, use the code FREEFALL, and when you spend $20, you'll actually get $5 off. So basically, that's just a free bookmark. So definitely check it out. Thank you, Jamie, very much for sending these to me. I love them, and I'll definitely be using them. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what book you're reading, and I will see you guys very soon um, with my next video. If you guys are ever curious, kind of, I know I don't have, like, a set schedule on here or anything, but if you're ever curious of, like, when my stuff is going up, um, follow me on Twitter, and I usually always post, like, right when a video is uploading or something, so you kind of know it's coming, and then I always post the links on Twitter. Um, I'm not very good about, like, Instagram doing that. That's kind of just turned into, like, my bookstagram and just, like, taking pictures of books and stuff. So I'm not really good about announcing videos on there. And my Facebook, let's be honest, it's Facebook, so it's pretty neglected. But Twitter, um, I would say, is probably, like, the best place where I tweet out my video links and stuff. So check that out if you haven't already. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys!